Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video guys, we're gonna talk about Kimura Lee Simmons. That woman is going to hell, you know. She's going to hell, and there's no other way to put it. Because listen this, Kimura Lee Simmons, right, took portions of Russell Simmons' shares his stocks that he has in Celsius, right? No, make no mistakes. When you talk about something in support of someone, people normally think that, oh my God, it's because you support that person. You are his fan. You're obsessed with him. You're begging him to choose you, Bookie. Hello, no, honey. I'm just intelligent and well-educated. That's all. And I can see both sides of any argument, right? And right is right and wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter who it is. There's a right way to go about things. And when someone is wrong, we have to say they're wrong. Because what Kimura Lee Simmons and Mr. Tim Lesnar did, they basically took, you know, stakes out of Russell's investments in Celsius. And Kimura Lee used it to pay off the money that um her husband, Kim, stole from the Malaysian government, right? He, he had to pay back, he had, he had agreed to pay back a few hundred million dollars to stay out of jail. They didn't use their money. They didn't sell any, sell any properties or anything they had. They were like, Oh, you know what? Russell has some investments in Celsius. And I believe Tim and Kimura convinced Russell to allow Tim to like be the person that manages his stock and whatever, because Tim is an investment banker, right? So he knows about investments and all of that. So they convinced Russell to let, you know, let the mouse watch the cheese. Yeah, let the mouse watch the cheese. And Russell was okay because Russell had no idea they were mouse. Russell thought that after everything that he had given Kimura, everything that he had done for her, and knowing that they have kids together, Kimura would have her back because whatever Russell has is for Russell's kid. But no, honey, that was not the case. Kimura had Tim's back. So when Kim, when Tim, you know, was in trouble with the Malaysian government, he thought he was good, but he didn't know that he wasn't that good because they catch him, you right? So they were like, okay, you need to give us back our money or you're going to do jail time. They took stakes out of Russell's Celsius deal and they basically sold that stake to keep Tim Listener, right? Out of jail. Honey. When Russell sued Kimura and Tim, you know what Kimura and Tim did? They wrote a letter to the judge. Both Kimura and Tim, I'm not saying just Kimura, you know, Kimura and Tim wrote a letter to the judge, told the judge that the judge should throw the case out of court because they're both entitled to portions of Russell's share on the California free speech law, right? So basically they're saying, you know what? We can take this and we should get away with it because the free speech law is supposed to protect us from going into Russell's investment fund, taking out what we like. And if you let us get away with it, we may move on to do other people just the same. Did they say that? No, but you know, if that's the energy they're given. So the judge was like, heck no, that's a stretch. How dare you? The audacity. The trial will go on. The lawsuit will go on. Russell's claims will stand against you and your husband for fraud. So the case is still ongoing. But I want to apply some more context, give you guys some history, some defined definition and law and all of that, right? No. According to because I did a video on this before. Many of you didn't see it. Many of you saw the post in my community tab. Asked me to talk about it again. So I'm doing as you guys requested, okay? Now, according to reports, right? An appeal. So it says, a filing this week obtained by RadarOnline.com revealed that an appeals court in Los Angeles denied Kimura and Tim's latest request to strike the fraud claims. The couple argued the record exec case should be thrown out under California anti-slap law. 
Now, the anti-slap law is strategic lawsuit lawsuit against public participation law, which protects Californians from predatory lawsuits that violates their right to free speech. So Tim and, and um, Kimura was arguing that, arguing that Russell's fraud claims against them was a predatory like behavior. When there are in fact records indicating that Tim and Kimura took Russell's money. So the judge was like, how the heck does that make sense? Kimura and Tim, out you go, out you go out of my court. The case and the trial still remains, but let's continue, right? Now they're saying Russell, who was married to Kimura from 1998 to 2009, claimed that in May 2018, Kimura and Tim, knowing full well that Tim would need tens of millions of dollars to avoid jail time, stay out on bail, and forfeit monies for victim compensation, allegedly unlawfully took 4 million shares of his stock in the energy drink Celsius to pay Tim's legal fees. The baby fat founder filed the lawsuit in 2021, alleging that more than $200 million was dispersed to Tim and another alleged co-conspirator in the $1 million, um, 1 million, I think it's Malaysian currency. So I think in the Malaysian currency, it's like, you know, a few million dollars, right? I'm not sure what their currency is. Sorry about that. No, they're saying that his complaints included two letters purportedly penned by Kimura and Tim, which Russell claimed were part of a cover-up by the couple who allegedly tried to create a new spin for the conspiracy and fraud had effectuated, right? So Russell provided the judge with the letters that were written by Kimura and Kim, and Tim, sorry, that's Kimura's husband, wherein they're using that letter to support their theft, right? They're saying, you know what? This letter, based on the California law, you know, supports us with taking Russell's money without Russell retaliating. If Russell should um retaliate, it should be considered as a predatory behavior because under the Californians Free Speech Act, we are entitled to Russell's money. Don't laugh. I kid you not. I'm going to show you guys evidence of this report on your screen. Now, the letters dated June 26, 2018 and February 5th, 2020 listed the transfers of the shares as temporary loans to cover Tim's bond authorized by Tim as a manager of Russell's investment company, New Horizons. Russell, however, claimed the letters do not reflect any legitimate loans, but rather are further evidence of Kim and Tim's fraudulent scheme. Kimura and Tim filed separate motion to strike the complaints under various anti-slap statutes, but both motions were denied in 2022 by a trial court. Now, the couple immediately appealed, but on Wednesday, June 5th, Justice Maria Stratton moved to uphold the decision, calling the couple's argument a stretch. Judge Maria Stratton wrote, We disagree and find that the complainant alleges the two letters are merely incidental to and constitute evidence of the fraud claims. They are not the basis of the causes of action themselves. We affirm the trial court denial of both anti slap motion because that is what Tim and Kimura wrote to the judge saying that the anti slap law should give them the right to Russell Simmons money but the judge was saying no 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 you appeal this decision it's not going to happen this is a stretch and the the um arguments will be uphold in court which means that the case is going to go on trial is going to go on and you're going to give that man back his money. So Kimora and Tim, they're currently in big trouble because so far, if the judge kicked all of their arguments out of court, 
That means that the case belongs to Russell and Tim and her hubby. They're going to have to give Russell his over $200 million back. Okay. But guys, you know, based on requests, I brought this back for you all. Hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care and see you guys later. Bye guys.